Hello everyone, and welcome to Achievement Hunts, where I help you complete achievements by explaining and possibly showing how to get them. For, the fir uh, for this first video, I will be going over achievements from Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls um, anniversary event. If you're watching this video after the event, and uh, keep in mind that Blizzard has stated it will be uh, doing running this event yearly, so you can watch it. Uh, so you can pull this video back up or remember it it for then. So um, now, before I get into the specific achievements, I want to go how uh, how I will be explaining these. Is as this is the first of these videos that I'm doing. Uh, if you want to skip straight to the achievements, uh, there will be an annotation and that you can click on to do so. Um, now, for the uh, for the most part, I will be going over the achievements one at a time. I'm uh, I'm most often covering uh, whole games, games, um, or for games with larger lists of achievements, such in this case as in this case, uh, just sections at a time. Um, while I will attempt to complete these achievements myself, uh, for cases in which I can't. I will do a good amount of research uh, into how how to complete them. Um, in the case of most full games, games uh, the first section then will be all the achievements that are unlocked by just beating the game, both for uh, simplifying things and to reduce spoilers. Uh, hidden achievements in those case, w cases will be listed as uh, X number of hidden achievements. Um, Speaking of spoilers, I will do my best to uh, leave achievements in, uh, with said spoilers to the latter half. But as well as I will be uh, covering whole games or large sections, assume that there will be spoilers. Uh, for pure online multiplayer or set, uh, sets of achievements, I will likely only be explaining them due to various RNG elements needing to line up, up unless I can get a good set of players um, doing them with me. Um, lastly, I will only be covering games that I am willing to play, um, which, to be fair, is a large range of games. Um, Alright, let's get started. Um, so, to begin with, thank goodness you've returned. Uh, this one's really straightforward. Just kill the four bosses um, that make up the event. Uh, this includes the Dark Lord, uh, the Archbishop or Bishop Lazarus, the Skeleton King, and the Butcher. But a note, um, in the process of finishing the event itself, you won't necessarily come across the Butcher or, or King Leoric. You have to actually go out and find them. Now, they will be in specific floors. Um, the butcher will always be found on floor two behind doors that in a room that is behind doors with a blood trail leading to them. Uh, and King Leoric will always be found on his tomb, which is a separate zone that you can find the entrance for, or on floor four. So onwards to the um, achievements that involve killing elites, or in this case, uniques. There are no elite uh, normal packs, no rares or champions like there are in the rest of the game. Um, and those are Adventuring Hero, Champion of the Townsfolk, and Protector of Tristram. Not like it stays standing. Um, and really, it's kill all the unique monsters. Um, there are at least one on every floor, including the Unholy Altar, which is between 50, floor 15 and 16, in, um, there are, except for the first floor. There are none to the side room, rooms, such as the Leoric's Tomb, or the areas that you have to explore that are separate zones. I don't know about the, uh, the, the, uh, the, um, Halls of the Blind, sorry. Um, all of them spawn to specific floors. So if you've killed all, if you've killed all the ones on that floor, uh, which to my knowledge there are no more than three on a floor, you're all set to go. I did manage to get the second of these achievements, which is kill half of them, just in the process of running through the event. Um, so next we have pst, over here, which is get Wurt's leg. Um, this is a bit of a trading process kind of thing that you have to do. First thing you need to do is you need to go to 
the, the ninth level and find the black mushroom. Click on it to get the rotting mushroom. Um, then go, and then the rest of this all takes place on, uh, on the uh, surface. So you bring the rotting mushroom to the cauldron, uh, Aldea's uh, cauldron. If it, it will be off the beaten path in order to get to the cathedral, um, if you haven't found it yet. Um, leave the cows alone. I'll get to that in a bit. Um, so you use that on. You click on the cauldron with that. It gives you the, and then you'll keep getting following items. You then go back to the town, and then you will click on the townsfolk. Oak that are dead in a specific order by cardinal directions, uh, going s uh, the south, north, west, and east. Um, you can't click on them in a false order. Um, it, you you get an item from each of them and trade them one at a time. Um, so don't worry about wrong order. After that, you'll get the actual uh, recipe, blacksmithing recipe for um, um, where it's like. It costs a million gold, so doing it with new characters is a little difficult, but doing it with older characters isn't hard at all. Or you can just wait. Now, you have to actually craft it, you don't need to equip it in order to get the achievement. Um, after that point, there's a bit of a hidden thing that isn't associated with any of the achievements. Uh, a bonus pet. If you destroy the leg via the blacksmith, you'll get a uh, secret message that will basically lead you towards a farm. So you go back to those cows next to the cauldron that I mentioned not to touch earlier. And with the message in hand, you can't, this won't work otherwise, you interact with the middle corpse, the right, the, sorry, the left corpse, and then the right corpse. And then an opening will, uh, a passage will appear on the right. It will take you to said farm, and you'll find a um, stash in the uh, middle, where you'll find a cow pet. Um, this is just a normal vanity pet, um, and it's not a, you know, bovine, blah blah blah, cow king kind of thing. It's on four legs. Sorry, folks, no reference here. Um, so, uh, moving on to the, uh, all the quests that involve, or all the, uh, achievements involving, uh, going to specific areas. Um, so, this is the Dark Passage, the Chamber of Bone, and the Halls of the Blind. You can find these on level 2, level 6, and level 7. Uh, the Dark Passage and Chamber of Bones are separate zones. Um, and all you need to do is step in them. Same thing with the Halls, uh, halls of the Blind, you just need to step in, but it's not a separate zone. It will be listed as a different area, but it's actually part of uh, level 7. I don't know if any of the elites can spawn there. I honestly did not finish the elite achievement. Um, at least not at the time of recording. So, um, next we go to an eerie red glow blurs your vision. So, this is do the event in one sitting with a starting with a level 1 character. Um, this will work for rebirth, um, uh, rebirth heroes. Uh, that's what I did personally. Um, or you can create a brand new character. Um, but to my knowledge, you have to do it all in one sitting. And this will get you the butcher pet, as well as I believe some um, banner stuff. Um, and then lastly, we have I sense a soul in search of answers. This is the only achievement that does not involve of actually going to the event area itself. Um, you need to go throughout all of Act 1, um, finding uh, temporal initiates, and more importantly, the temporal priests. Uh, they'll all spawn together, um, and you'll want to find the seven pages associated with them. They actually drop off the priests, so if you just kill them, um, you're fine, but you'll probably end up killing the, the, the initiates anyway. Um, they will spawn generally in any area that is not a scripted layout or spawn. So things such as Leoric's tomb, whom and his manor as well, won't have any. Um, just try anywhere in Act 1. If you don't find one there, one doesn't spawn there. If you found a group of them there, that is the one that spawns there. Only one per instance of going to an area. So once you've done all of them, um, just reset it. They can drop any page and repeats. You need all seven for the achievements. Um, well, that's all. Um, that's everything for the event. And um, 
Honestly, I'm going to try to do more of these. Uh, I would appreciate uh, requests, if you have any, for what games you'd like to see or sections of games. Um, I, again, I play a lot of games. I have access to a lot of games. Um, but uh, keep in mind, if you want it to have footage, I can only do that with um, games that are on PC. I do not have any method of having console f uh, footage from console games, but I can go over those. Um, un obviously, if it's a console game with a PC port, that works. It should work fine too. No guarantees. Um, all right, I guess that's all. Um, thank you for your time. Uh, if you like this, please, you know, give it a like. If you didn't, as usual, you're more than welcome to dislike it. Um, can, uh, leave a comment if you want any uh, specific games, games or constructive criticism. Um, please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Um, thank you. Have a wonderful day.